We've done the world's first limb replacement with a piece of metal sticking out of the real living tissue and then a new foot on the outside. We've done the world's first large endoprosthesis where we replace an entire joint and bone with metal and allow tendons to grow into it. And we've done some of the world first uh, spinal fusion devices which allow a paralyzed dog to walk again. So I'm going to go into theater one and uh, look inside a joint with a camera because there's a problem inside the joint. That's amazing. I've never seen it in a, I've never seen this lesion before in a dog this age. Have you got everything you need, Michelle? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Wow, I've never seen this in such a tiny dog before. That's amazing. Really? Two years ago, this is coming January. Yeah. One year ago, this is January. So a lot of problems right now in veterinary medicine are considered either uncurable or untreatable or we shouldn't do it. And my belief is that we should seek all possible reasonable solutions as long as it's in the animal's best interest. Our tail was about this long and we've taken that off and chopped it up into each individual vertebra. <gasps> Uncle Alan? All right, there we go. There we go. Four, two, three, four. All of those are tailbones. So there's one right there, and there's another one right there, and they're just kebabbed in position to make new toes. Talk to me. Are you being selfish enough to say that that poorly dog doesn't deserve the best that we can provide? Well, that's just silliness, isn't it? Why don't you just reverse the question and say, can you give me three good reasons why shouldn't a dog or a cat have the best level of care that the 21st century United Kingdom can supply? I rest my case. So here's a metal rod with screws that go into what's left of the vertebrae. The whole roof and the side have been taken out and thrown away because that's tumor. So this is Jasmine and she has a brand new total knee replacement. Okay, let's take her out. Go on Jazzy, run around. Love you go. is Clyde and Clyde's mom and Clyde has a tumor 
of his back leg over there, which we'll show you in a minute. He's a lovely fellow, and uh, we're going to operate on him tomorrow to replace the tumor in his leg with a, a new knee. He's in an awful lot of pain with it. It spans from here to here, and all I have to do is put the gentlest of pressure on it, and it's extremely painful for him. And he's a very good boy, so we shouldn't do that because it hurts. Come on then.